Hello everyone and welcome back to the on Cafe. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Attack of the B Team. In the last episode we set up these strong boxes around here. So we could store just a little bit more stuff, especially in these two chests, which are still getting really full. Uh, we definitely do need to sort these out at some point, but we'll get back to that, we'll get back to that. Uh, our stuff in here has grown nicely. If we have a look, we can just right click now and we'll get some nice concentrated uh, essence berries. And now if we uh, just right click on these, we actually just get a bunch of experience, which is pretty cool. And it means we can use our elevator again, if we so desire. I can hear a lot of mobs down here, actually. I'm wondering if there's some, like, mobs just sort of, like, hiding behind the walls. Because I can hear, like, skeletons and zombies and stuff. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, what I want to do this episode is I want to start on making a mob spawner. But not in the uh, not in the typical sense. I'm not going to use the uh, skeleton spawner outside. Or at least I think I am going to do, but I'm not going to use it for um, bones and stuff. What I intend to do is uh, use the grinder from Mine Factory Reloaded and my plan is to put the grinder right next to this skeleton spawner out here so that when all these skeletons spawn like this and I mean I could even build a little like um, shelter around it and just sort of sit here for a while whilst loads of skeletons spawn and uh, what the grinder does is it'll kill any mobs within a 5x5 five five sort of block radius of the block of the grinder and uh, it'll kill them, it'll take the bones, whatever drops to give, and it'll also collect mob essence. Now, mob essence is pretty useful because then we can make something called an auto spawner, from, also from Mine Factory Reloaded, this thing here. And the auto spawner, whilst pretty expensive, I mean, we've got to go find some magma creams and some emeralds, but um, what the auto spawner allows us to do is pretty much make our own mob spawner. Now, what I want to do is get some ender pearls. So I want to set up an ender pearl spawner. Now I'm pretty sure we're going to need a safari net, is it? I think as well. Reusable. Uh, single use. What's the difference between single use and reusable? Ah, reusables are rather expensive. So we'll probably go with the single use one and see if we can capture ourselves an enderman in one of these things. Uh, safari nets. It's a mystery. They both seem to be the same, so that's fine. Yes, yeah, so we'll make one of those and we'll capture our enderman, put him in the auto spawner, but then the auto spawner requires mob essence to run, and I'm pretty sure the way it's configured is that it takes, like, for every two skeletons that we kill outside, or no, for every three skeletons that we kill outside, it'll spawn two endermen inside. That's like, so it costs more to spawn them than you actually get from killing them with the grinder. So you can't set up, like, an unlimited system where you just spawn and kill them over and over again and get drops and stuff, but uh, it's still pretty useful because then we can turn three skeletons into, an enderman, into two endermen which we can then use to grab ourselves a bunch of ender pearls because I really want to get some tesseracts up and running. So, the first thing we're going to need is our grinder. Now, this thing's not too hard to make. We need some plastic sheets, some tin gears, a machine frame, invar sword, redstone section coil, and some books. Now, I've been cooking up some raw plastic over here. It's pretty nice. This room just got really light. Did the furnace just start up? It might have done. Uh, let's make ourselves some plastic sheets like this. There we go. Got a bunch of those. Don't think we're probably going to need any more for a while. Uh, books. I'm pretty sure we've got some paper in here. Uh, do, 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 do. Maybe not. I'm sure we had a bunch of paper. I made lots of, um, there we go, yeah, because we, we, uh, we pulverized a bunch of wood, didn't we? And then if we go out into the fields, I'm pretty sure we've got quite a bit of leather now from our little cow farm that's doing rather nicely. As you can see, there's a bunch of baby cows in there. And we have a bunch of leather, look at this. Uh, we're going to take them too, but we do have another stack. We've got a load of raw beef as well. I might take some of that and cook some of that up. Because we are running out, well, we're not really running out of food. We've got a lo load of apples, but beef's a lot better than apples. Oh my god, go away. There we go, that's better. And let's just use our cool enhanced portal. And do 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 do. So I'll cook these guys up. Let's make us some books. Like this. See, I can hear a skeleton shooting at me. Where the flipping heck is this thing? And somebody in the comment section did point out that what I should really be using is uh, it's not a crafting cable, but instead a crafting station from uh, Tinker's Construct. Now, I completely forgot about it because it's usually not in these mods, but Tinker's Construct, you can just sort of dump stuff in here, and then if I forget something, I'm like, oh, no, I need some leather to make this book. I can just leave it there. It's pretty nice. You can just leave stuff there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can shift-click stuff into this um, uh crafting station I'm not too sure I'll find out in a second I guess when I start making some of this stuff I think you can but I'm not 100% sure let's have a look uh, we're gonna need iron and tin to make ourselves some tin gears so let's find out can we shift click into this thing oh we can good stuff okay I'm sure I heard somewhere you couldn't but obviously it was wrong uh, machine frames I'm pretty sure we should still have one about somewhere we do cool stuff and do 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 redstone reception coil is just golden redstone and then an invar sword. So, oh, look at that. Perfect amount of invar. 
uh, redstone and gold. We can get ourselves a redstone reception coil. And I imagine we're going to need a stick for this uh, Invar sword as well. So we'll take that guy. And let's see what we can do. Okay. Invar sword. Yeah, cool stuff. And do, 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 reception coil, something like this. And can we make a grinder? Probably not because the Invar sword doesn't stack. So let's see if we can do it ourselves. Let's just press shift, do, 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 and ting gears. And the coil, kaplunk, we got a grinder, nice. Now we are also gonna need a bunch more hardened energy conduits in order to um, connect this thing up to the power. So let's grab a bunch of lead. Uh, we don't have that much lead left. We might have to go mining again between episodes. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's all our glass? There it is. Let's cook some of these guys up. So, recipe, shift click, we'll grab a stack of those, and then we're going to need more invar, aren't we? So, ferrous and iron. Do we have an induction smelter? Of course we do. Let's throw some ferrous, some iron, and let's make a bunch of invar so we can get a bunch of conduits going. Now, like I said, I think I'm going to put this guy down by the skeleton spawner, just so I think that's where we're going to get... Look at this, there's a bunch of skeletons spawning all the time. I think I've managed to get my dragon to sit as well. A bunch of people help me out in the comments, and you need a bone to make it back... Oh god. Okay, apparently not. Come on, you fool. I want you up here, not up there. So if I land, and then if you use a bone... See, that's him walking about. That should, if we click with the bone, that should be him sitting down. I had him like this a minute ago, though, and he was just wandering around just then. We'll find out. That should be him sat down. He shouldn't move, hopefully. Who knows? He probably will do still, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to put this thing like... Now, does it... I think it might actually do it um, like the breeder and stuff do, where it does it a couple of blocks in front. So what I think I might do is put it here. And I think it'll work in a one, two, three, four... I might actually put it a bit closer. Because uh, I think it works like this. I've had them before where I've put them in the ground and tried to get them to work above. But I don't think they do. I think they work... Well, we've got one over here, haven't we? And that's how it does work. So it works in front. So I think if we leave it there... It should grab some of the skeletons as they spawn, but we are going to need to get our shovel and dig ourselves out a nice little um, route back to the base. Now, we do have some conduits going out at some point, connecting up to the farm outside. I wonder if we can intercept some of those guys and just sort of bring them out along here. We might be able to, might not. Uh, let's have a look. Just keep breaking. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, I think we've gone way past where that thing was. So, let's go try find our conduits. And uh, whereabouts am I on the um, X and Y? Um, okay, so I'm on Y67. And then the X doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's go find... I'll turn that off because I know it's a bit annoying. It's having F3 on all the time. Uh, right. So we kind of want to intercept this guy. We'll do it over here. Round down. I can't remember what Y I was on because I've just got the. I think I'm on Y67, weren't we? Y67, I think was the uh, the level that we be on. Oh, wow! Look at that. <laughs> we went a bit far, but look how close we were. Gosh, so close. Okay, let's grab this guy, bring these guys along, and now we can go make ourselves a bunch more conduits. And I think I'm gonna have to have another lane going down next to it as well. Because we have to have some fluid ducts coming back from this thing as well, bringing all the mob essence back to the uh, back to the base, so that we can put them in tanks and store them for when we use them with the auto spawner. So, let's go grab ourselves some more conduits real quick, and we can also grab some what's it called while we're here, some um, fluid ducts. Let's grab that. Let's make some hardened energy conduits or G hardened energy conduits like this there we go 60 should be more than enough let's grab i'm pretty sure it's just copper and lead to get a uh, fluid duct something like uh to do, do, do this not sure how many of these we're going to need but i think 64 should be more than enough so we'll take those guys and we'll see won't we i guess uh what's it going to want a tank where are we going to put this thing i think i'll just leave it in a tank like this for now when it gets back um I don't think we're going to get that much mob essence, so I think I might just make a little uh, portable tank like that one, just a, a basic one for now. If we start getting a lot of this stuff, I can always upgrade it to a better one, but for now, this should do. 
a nice little portable tank and I'll put it in I don't know where should I put this stuff I'll put it like there it doesn't really matter I kind of want it closer to I kind of want it closer than further away it doesn't matter too much because with uh, with portable tanks you can just shift click and pick them up and you'll take all the stuff with you which is pretty cool so let's see oh, we're gonna have to have some other stuff coming as well we're gonna have to have some item ducks coming back I might have to have like make a triple row set up because um, we're gonna have like bones and all sorts of stuff coming back as well and probably a couple of bows and arrows also so let's bring this guy all the way back because this guy's the most important there we go so this thing should be getting power right now good stuff good stuff I'd like a mob to test it on but it's fine we can come back to that let's cut some stuff here like I said I might make a little like um, shed out here and just sort of box these guys in so they can only wander around within the um, the area and then I could just sort of like sit on top because I don't know if we're I don't know if we're within like the spawning region being in the basement I think we're a bit too far away from the uh, the mob spawner to have it spawning all the time so what I might have to do is just sort of like between episodes have it so that I uh, I just leave the game on whilst I sit on the uh, sit on top of the box and get a bunch of stuff spawning uh, crescent hammer let's grab this guy and I'm not too sure why we're going back with this actually let's find a route because I don't want to just like aimlessly uh, wander back actually we could probably break into the basement at some point what were we like Y67 let's have a look Y67 is like here so if we go out like oh actually we could probably intercept it with like oh this is gonna be a pain we could probably get it in straight in line with this let's have a look oh here we go look at this perfect I'm probably gonna need nowhere near 64 fluid ducts but yeah, we could always use them for something else I guess uh, we could even have uh, we might actually set up a rancher by the uh, the cows and see if we can get like some tanks filled with milk because milk could be useful for something one day you don't know <laughs> you don't know it might be used for something probably not but it might be. Let's have a look, actually. I don't think you can use milk for anything, really, apart from, like, curing your ailments. Uh, uses. Oh, we can make a bunch of cakes. And we can make... Th oh, yeah, we've got the extra food mod. We can make... We can make a chocolate milk bucket. I might want to drink some chocolate milk. We can make butter. Who doesn't want butter? We could do a lot of stuff with milk, actually. I might do that. I might do that so we can get into the food mod uh, a little bit more. Make some cool stuff. Okay, let's bring this guy over. And along. Down and across and up. Ta -da! There we go. Uh, we don't need that, do we? We just need it like that. Did I just... No, I didn't. Okay. Leave that like that. Actually, I think I'm pretty sure these things can only accept from the top and bottom. So I'm just going to quickly uh, put this thing here. I might get one of those covers in a minute anyway, just so that doesn't look as bad. But uh, that's fine for now. Let's go see if we can get... I don't know how long night's going to be. But I kind of want to get some of these mobs spawning so we can kind of try this thing out. Uh, we've got a nice chunk here that's just not loaded. That's kind of weird. I can see a skeleton. What is... Oh, God. I'm not going to go down there because it's just going to cause massive amounts of, like, breakage. I'm just going to break everything. Which is never good. How is my tree farm doing? It seems to be doing fine. It seems to be leaving this big wall of stuff just here. Like, it seems to... This might be, like, the edge of its reach. It might not be able to take this stuff down. So we might just have this as, like, permanent scenery. That's fine. It's fine. Okay, so let's have a quick look at our cow farm. Gosh, we really need to set this um, veterinary station up. I don't know how long it takes for baby cows to grow into full cows. Um, if anyone knows, please tell me in the comment section because I have no idea how long it takes. Has this guy got an axe? This guy's got like a diamond axe. I want it. Let's take all the experience from the babies. There we go. This thing's really loud. I'm just going to move away. So I cheated a little bit. I didn't want to wait for the night to come, so I just set it to night time. But now... If we sort of sit somewhere and just sort of float about around near this stuff. Actually, I'm going to put this chest down actually right next to, um, right behind the uh, thing here. Because otherwise it's just going to spit stuff out all over the place. So I'll put that there. Come on. Oh, here we go. Our first tester. You're not going to kill him? Really? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, I think maybe, maybe a fence. Or maybe, I think I might just set up a little like um, shack just so it's like dark 24-7. And I set up a little dark room here so they're always spawning maybe. And then we did get some bones and some arrows which is pretty cool. So I think off camera I'm going to set up uh, some item ducks taking stuff back to the base. But uh, yeah, that's the basic setup we've got going. We've got a nice little uh, spawner grinder here. I think we'll probably be able to do the same thing with the uh, Enderman actually, wouldn't we? We could use an auto spawner and then use another mob grinder to kill the auto to kill the Enderman, get some Ender Pearls and uh, also reuse some of the mob essence. So it's a bit less uh, reliant on this thing. 
But uh, yeah, I think we'll call the episode there, guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!